Hey everyone, I'm back with uh, another video, and this one is actually kind of special because I just got in the mail today something that I've been wanting for such a long time, ever since I first heard about it from one of the tech retro tech uh, guys, and this will help with my work on fixing game systems quite a lot. So, I'm going to show you what it is right now. Now, originally these things, um, what I'm about to show you, they usually would go for retail about $300 or $345. I managed to get this on Amazon for sale for $245. So, yep, there it is. So yeah, here it is. A desoldering pump, a desoldering gun. I've wanted these for so long that they were so damn expensive, but now that I saved up enough money, I'm able to own one of these finally and um, it just shipped in the box like this as is it didn't come with any um, extra packaging so good on Amazon but this case looks pretty sturdy so I don't hear well I hear Mike one or two things so you can sell I'm not gonna beat around the bush let's um, get this open because I'm really dying to test this out Now this is pretty cool. You know, I'm going to have to get into reading the instructions here before I show you a demonstration on how this works. So, give me some time and I will jump cut to when I show you an example of how this works. Okay, so uh, to start to test out, I'm going to uh, use this uh, Atari 2600 on motherboard since this needs uh, work so yep, I got that uh, tip now um, let me see it says um, then apply generous code all right so Dying to test this out I flux this up so let's see Wow, just took it clean off. <laughs> My God, I'm impressed so far. <laughs> it sounds exactly like how others have shown. <laughs> just want to break down a bit so it melts. <laughs> Normally I would use like a soldering braid, but that would be really tedious and this is just really convenient. Don't mind the background noise, that's just like kids or something. Yeah, I'm like removing this uh, cartridge slot off this uh, motherboard because it's having uh, issues. So as you can see, Took those clean right out. So let me see if I can get the other ones. All right, so. Hmm, hold on. I think I need to apply some uh, solder onto this so that I can get 
something better for one of the pins here. Oops. Okay, that's better. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't stay on there for too long. Alright, so doing that, let me turn this off. As you can see, if I can get focused in, that actually worked. So now I'm going to jump cut to where I get this uh, thing actually off and then I'll... S so yeah, here it is. This is the cartridge slot that was uh, giving me uh, issues, like graphical issues. And I managed to get it off. And it's a pretty old board and as you can see, it doesn't look too good. But I'm hoping, hoping that I'll be able to fix that and... Yeah, this just worked like a charm, so I really do recommend picking up these ones, though I don't recommend buying from uh, Hakko's official uh, website because they're going to charge retail price, so I would suggest go for Amazon right now. It's on sale for $245 if you can afford that, and this thing is definitely worth it. I I just don't, I don't know why I didn't pick up one of these years ago when I first heard about it. It's just, it's crazy. It's like... And the next thing you know, I'm going to pick up uh, Frame Meister OSSC. And I'm going to talk, praise, give so much praise about it. But, yeah, this worked like a charm. It's, I mean, I'm still going to use um, solder, brick, solder uh, wick for a few other stuff. But this will help me out significantly, especially for these socketed chips and such. If I want to, if I want to socket like uh, chips on a motherboard, I can do that now with these. And um, I can actually go back to one of the, a Sega Genesis I have and fix a uh, reset button I've been having issues with. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. And um, this product is amazing if you're really into electronic uh, fixing. I really do recommend picking one of these up if you can get for sale. So, yeah, thank you very, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will catch you all later.